Yo, hello everyone. Um, my name is Nitsan. I'm a front-end developer at BIT. And today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. We are going to talk about sharing types between your back-end and front-end application. And you know, it's a real problem out there because your back-end API gets changed and the front-end team, uh, they don't have a clue about that, right? They're expecting some kind of data and suddenly because the API changed they received a whole different data and it's really confusing. So we are going to solve this problem by creating a shared type component with bit and let's get going right away and the first thing we're going to do is to create a bit workspace where we can create components, uh, import components and so on. And here we go, we have, the, we have our uh, workspace created and we are going to import components from two different scopes. The first scope we are, we are going to import a component from is the backend scope. As you can see here, it's a scope that contains only one component at the moment. And this component, we'll, we're going to import it to our workspace. So. Let's get going and we import the component and importing a component means that we get all the source code over here, right here, and we can edit it, uh, tag it with a new version afterwards and do any modification that we would like. And here we go, we have this nice route over here where we send this dad. Oh yeah, and by the way, um, I forgot to tell you, but I'm a father Besides working at BIT, I'm also a father for five children. Five sweet, sweet little children. Yeah, the eldest is seven years old. And so this is why I created this API. <laughs> so my children, um, you know, they always fight with each other. Who is going to spend time with daddy? And I told them, I told them okay, don't fight with each other. I'm going to create you an API and then you can can interact with me. You can go to this route over here, spend time with daddy, and I will send you this daddy who's, who, who, and who has these properties over here, the, the, the name, age, children, and spend with child, right? Every, every child will get 20 minutes. That's fair enough, isn't it? And we're sending the response to the front end, and that's about it. That, that's, our, that's our back end component, a very simple component. This is the route. And here we are actually sending, uh, we are running the server and um, mapping the route over here and everything works great. And you know what? Let's just run the server. We can run it already, but we have first, first we have to add it over here as um, uh, to, to our workspace JSON because it's, it's, if it's an application type and Bit can recognize application types by uh, having them on your workspace JSON. So let's go right away and add it over here. And the scope is server, right? No, sorry, backend. And the component name, component name is server. And that's it. All we, all we have to do now is to bit install and bit compile. bit compile and after we, we run bit install we can then run our server by using the run command the run command bit run and server and now the server will run and it's up and running and we can go ahead and go ahead and import the second component the second the second component it's the front end component it's in, it's, it lives in a whole different scope and we're going to import it to import it to our into our workspace, and you know in the same workspace we can have components from all kind of scopes. It doesn't matter really from what scope you are you are importing the components. You can have components from all kind of scopes, compose them together, and tag them and send them back to the cloud. It's really fun. And okay, we have the front end component now, and the front end component is also very simple. The only thing is that it's doing, it has, uh, it has its own type over here. 
and we are setting the state and then we are uh, fetching the data and displaying it here right so let's add it to our workspace as well because this is also of an, of an application type so we add, have to add it to our workspace and then we can run it for front end and then we it's called fetch dead right not that joke thank you okay cool now we can run bit uh, install and bit compile again it wasn't on this terminal so let's do it like again bit compile and after we, we run this uh, this component this app component the react component um, we will see that we are getting an error and you know we like errors right we are we are programmers yeah we, we, we like to solve problems right so bit run fetch dead and let's see what error do we get and if you look closely you see you can see we invoke the function over here that the, the spend with child function and when we run this uh, app oh no we get a type error and first of all thank you typescript for giving us this error because if we hadn't had this error we wouldn't know what to do and typescript tell, tell, tells us dad span with child is not a function and why is that happening and yes you're guessing right because we don't have a shared type over here at the front end the front end developer he knows that the span with child property it's a function yeah because maybe he was using this api before and then he was console logging this the the, the, the data and he and he, see, and he saw that it was it was a, a function but now the api was updated and it's not a function anymore it's just a simple property with with a constant number a number of 20 and you cannot invoke a number as you probably know yes in, uh, in javascript invoking a number in, is not possible so this is why we get this error and how are we going to solve it yep you guessed right we are going to create a shared type component so let's go ahead and we can import this type that i created before this video and this shared type or entity to be precise is going to serve as our shared type for both both our front end and back end components so let's import and you can see this is this this component lives in another scope scope so we have three components now in our in our workspace from three different scopes and each component is totally independent but we can compose them together so we are importing this entity this dead entity component and as you can see now um, here it is it's an it's another it's in another scope over here the shared types types scope and as you can see over here we have the dad type and it has a class and this is a, as a it's, it's a very interesting part over here because you know in typescript we can have we can have classes we can, uh, that are also types so this cl class is going to serve as our type but it also has all kind of special abilities like this gather the spend with child gather and and we also have this static method from object that creates a new dad from a, an object and this is really cool because now we can use it both in our front end and our back end so let's put it in our front end first and we are going to import this component import dad from and it was in the shared type scope right and we can delete this dad for now yes it's deprecated this dad is deprecated and we can already you can already see we're getting an error now right because we know that now the spend with child property 
it's not a function it's a gather and this is how we access a gather like a like a simple property right like a simple object property and let's go ahead and use this same type in our backend as well so we can delete this one as well this dead is also deprecated and now we are importing this dead as over here as well and you know uh, by the way i don't know if you noticed but when i when i import components i import only from an absolute path so i don't even though all the th all 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 components are in the same workspace they are all in the same folder i'm not going to import it directly from that folder from that shared typed entities dead folder because yes at the moment they are in the same the, the same workspace the same folder but later later on we are going to export them to the cloud and then that will only be um as a dependency in the node model so we always import for them not from an absolute path not a relative path from and we, we import from the node models and we have to modify this dead over here because now we are going to create this dead from an object we have the uh, from object prop, uh, method you remember and after we fix this now we can run the server again and let's run the front-end application again and let's see what result we get and we get the time you have with your dad is mm -hmm minutes and why is this happening we have a shared type now we have this uh, this way to access um, the span with child getter and it's not working and the reason for that it's interesting because when we send the data when we send the data from our route the data gets sent in the in a JSON type and JSON is like a string you know it's like a string that represents an object but when we convert an object to a string to a json type it loses all of its functionalities so this nice entity component it doesn't have the span with child gather and it doesn't have the from object um, method so we have to convert it from json back to it to the nice object we had before and this is another nice type about this and, 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 and another nice thing about this entity component because now we can just go ahead and we are we are already importing it here because we are using it as a, it as a type over here in the youth state but now we can also use it to convert our data back to a real object so we are using the from object method like we used before on the data and now after we save this file yep the time you have with your dad is 24 minutes and this is really cool because now we have the, we have this entity and we have a single source of truth not only for the type but, but also for the methods and everything that we need in order to convert data and this is really nice now the last thing i want to show you I want to show you how we tag components with a new version and it's quite simple all we have to do is a bit tag and we should give a message and sh let's say shared comp shared entity and now when we tag a component bit is going to um, test our, our, our components run, run all the tests for our components build the components because each component gets its own package and when we can and we, we can install it afterwards with any package manager and it also gets a new version because bit tracks changes for each component independently each component gets versioned as you can see now each component gets its own version it's not like when in git when in git you version you, you commit the whole repo right and the whole repo gets versioned every time we commit but in bit each each component gets versioned independently now 
I want to show you one more thing, and that is the dependencies, the, the, the dependencies relationship uh, in components with bits. So let's say now we change this entity component, right? And let's 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 give our children more time, you know. So let's delete this one, and we can give our children. We can spend more time with our children, right? They deserve it, yes. Oh, they're crying, Daddy, Daddy, spend more time with me. It's so sad. So let's let's spend some more time with the children, and we can we can make it a number now. And now we like we we have more time with time with our with our children. Let's see it on the front end. Yes, we, every child gets 40 minutes. That's really nice, right? And we can tag again. And we would expect that bit will only tag this component, right? right? Because we said every component get, gets versioned independently. And we, and we only modified this component. So let's, let's see what happens. We only modified the entity component. We didn't modify the front end component and we didn't modify the back end component. So bit is going to run tests and build again, but now we are going to see something very special because bit is not going to tag only the entity component. It's going to tag also, um, I see, I see that, if, um, yeah, we have a failed test, right? Because we, we modified, we, 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 Modify the entity component. The entity component uh, test tells us that it shouldn't have be, it should be the uh, dead with and spend with child property should be less than or equal to 20. And we said we were going to give them more time now. So yeah, let's give our children more time. People spend time with their children. It's important. We have children only. Once in a lifetime, I guess, yeah, they grow eventually. <laughs> okay, so we fixed the test. We can run the test again. And okay, now we are getting to the fun part because as I said, bit is not going to tag only, only the entity component. It's going to tag all its, its dependents. And this is really, really nice feature because this makes sure that all components in your workspace are, are always in sync. And if you want to modify one component that has dependence, like over here, as yes, you can see, auto tag dependence, and it also tags them as well. And this is how we make sure the backend and the frontend um, applications always use the same type. And that type is always in sync with them. And now we can export our components. And I was in San Cohen. You are great. I had fun. See you next time.